Our next guest says it's clear Iran is getting close to a deal that will not dismantle any nuclear facilities or infrastructure in Iran. They're very good at drawing lines in the sand, and then after somebody crosses the line, doing nothing about it. If this deal goes through the way it appears it is, you will see a nuclear-armed Middle East, and that is incredibly dangerous. Nothing else you've learned over the last six years. When America doesn't lead, the world falls apart. I believe the American people ought to have input into whether or not this is a good deal or a bad deal. A lot of people don't realize this, but the president today has the power without this legislation to go straight to the UN Security Council without coming to Congress and implement whatever deal he wants to implement with Iran. Look at this and they say, what is going on in Washington, D.C., where you pretend you can trust the Iranians on a nuke negotiation, when at the same time they're trying to foment uh, discord and instability across a whole region? Good news is Congress will have our constitutional responsibility. We will take a hard look at this. The product of months of negotiations between Democrats and Republicans, trade promotion authority and other trade bills advancing through the Senate Finance Committee. Many pundits are saying, you know what, hats off to both parties. This is a rare instance where everyone's working together. This is one of those rare circumstances where uh, the president's actually in the right place and we ought to support him for that. It's, this is good for the jobs, it's good for the economy. Congress yeah. should allow the president to do the best he can, but it's not just this president, it's the next president as well. Congress is moving on these important issues now, including things like trade, to do just that, get our economy going and growing and get people back to work. Since 1989, U.S. agricultural exports have nearly quadrupled in value. This is a direct result of our trade agreements. These agreements can boost our economy and support more high-quality American jobs. When American exporters can compete in a market governed by fair and enforceable rules, they will win. At this point, you may be asking, is there any good news today? Yes, there is, and from a most unexpected place, Capitol Hill. As best as I can make out, Congress has actually done something, several things. In the first 100 days, we had 15 bills reported out of committees in the Senate, compared to just eight in the first 100 days of the previous two Congresses. This is a good day for the United States Senate because we're doing the right thing for people who have no voice, we are their voice. I think we had a milestone of bipartisanship. As a new member, I'm very encouraged. Hill publications, off-hill publications about sort of the thawing of dysfunction in Washington, D.C. The president's budget is based on a reauthorization that is once again funded by a Band-Aid approach. Over the past five years, Senate Democrats have only been able to pass one budget. But now that Congress is under new management, Senate Republicans put together a balanced budget in our first 100 days.